and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Golgari Poison. That's right, we have a cool donation deck here built around Poison Tip Archer and Tender Shoot Dryad. Po poison Tip Archer is whenever another creature dies, um, you know, any any other creature, tokens, non-tokens, non opponent's creatures, my creatures, whenever any other creatures besides Poison Tip Archer dies, our opponents lose one life. And then Tender Shoot Dryad says at the beginning of each upkeep, so I mean their upkeep and my upkeep, we get to make a 1-1 Sapperling token. And then if we have ascended, then our Sapperlings get plus two, plus two, as long as the Tender Shoot Dryad remains on the battlefield. But so what we're trying to do is we're, we're trying to just make a bunch of Sapperling tokens with these Dryads and, uh, you know, be able to chump block with the Dryads, send them in, send them into attack and just let them die and, and kill our opponent with Poison Tip Archer triggers here. So that's why we're calling it Golgari Poison. If we can make a bunch of creatures, um, we have Finality that we can use to just be a board wipe and, uh, you know, machine gun down our opponent with the Finality here. And we also have Masker Girl that can do the same kind of thing. So those are a couple of, like, board sweeps that we have in the main deck. Cyborg, we got some more Masker Girls over there. But we're wanting to play a whole lot of creatures because of Poison Tip Archers. So we want we want a lot of creatures. We want a lot of creature combat. We want a lot of creatures dying. And so that's why we have, we have not only our mana creatures, we got some Explore creatures to help us hit our land drops. We got Chupacabra for removal because it's a creature. And the, the other card that, that was built around with this, um, with this, donation deck here was Vivian Reed and because Vivian Reed can tick up and find more creatures so again we're, we're being rewarded for having creatures in our deck uh, to go along with the Vivian Reed here so the more creatures the better Golgari Queen can sacrifice extra sapperlings uh, to help us get card advantage there gain life draw cards also can be triggering poison tip archer as well plus it's a, a good removal spell for three mana planeswalkers like Soren and Teferi um, Liliana, you know, again, have both players sacrifice creatures, or if these creatures are dying, you know, we get to draw cards. So this is another card advantage engine in here. Um, besides that, our sideboard is, is a lot of creatures. I want Plague Mare against vampires. I think this is a very solid card against Plague Mare, or sorry, against vampires. So we got a couple of those. We got Midnight Reaper against Control Decks for some more card advantage whenever creatures die. Plague Mare against the decks that aren't playing creatures but are playing Planeswalkers. So like Planeswalker heavy decks, Plague Crafter is our removal spell for Planeswalkers. Chupacabra against more creature decks. Golgari Queen against aggro and decks with like the three mana Planeswalkers. Masker Girl again against aggro against other green decks. Just give us another good board wipe. And the good thing about Masker Girls being board wipes is like those are board wipes we can find with Vivian Reed. And then um, we have Command the Dread Hordes against... Uh, control that we can bring stuff back as well. So another anti-control card there. So that's what we got. We're not playing like your normal black removal spells like Noxious Grasp and, and Legions and and stuff because we are going to be focused on creatures here. And no, I didn't didn't put in Wild Growth Walker. I think a lot of decks just kind of outclass Wild Growth Walker. And even though it can gain us some life, um, didn't really find room for it because, you know, need to have our engine cards here and didn't really have room for the wild growth walkers as well yeah i izoni izoni could be a good a good option instead of liliana i suppose does make a lot of insects and everything do y'all think i should play izoni instead of liliana i was thinking like liliana for the card draw and just a a really good no, I want to keep the Liliana. I want the removal that Liliana has also. So, yeah, I want Liliana. Okay, let's go ahead and give this a try. Golgari Poison. So what, what, we, what we're doing here with uh, donation decks, we always play through a, a traditional constructed league, and we're going to see if we can get to five wins instead of... Uh, before we get to two losses, not instead of, but... We'll see if we can get to five wins before two losses. Yeah, Liliana's pretty great. And yeah, Paradise Druid is, is really important in this deck. Um, like, we we have to ramp. Uh, we have to get to these the four and five mana cards earlier, and so that's why Paradise Druid over Wild Growth. Plus, Paradise Druid is an important card with 
Masker Girl, where we need one toughness creatures with Masker Girl if we want to start triggering that. Now, the Poison Tip Archer will only trigger while it's on the battlefield. So, like, if we Masker Girl away a whole bunch of uh, creatures, but they have more toughness than Poison Tip Archer, that won't help too much. Uh, yeah, we'll keep that. All right, so we haven't been doing very well today, but new league, we're refreshed. We get changed our avatar. We got Vraska for our avatar here. And we changed the basics. Those unhinged land basics did not work for us <laughs> in that in the blue black deck. We're going to try these pretty cool looking arena basics. Let's try these ones. Yeah, Bantu could be another card that could one-shot opponents. Um, but the thing I'm... Or, like, Bantu on its own, though. I, I'm basically using Masker Girl instead of Bantu. Because Bantu on its own can be pretty meh. But it does have the ability to one-shot opponents, though, as well. But yeah, if you're going... Yeah, if you win Izoni, you could go Bantu also. Bantu, is, that is another card, though, you get to find with... Um, that is another card you get to find with Vivian, though. It's just so much damage. So basically, these are all three ones. I wish I had something I could play next turn. If I block. If I don't block, we're taking two, four, six, seven, eight. We're taking eight next turn if I don't block. Oh, we're just blocking. Dang. It's just all lands. Speaking of Masker Girl, this would be a really good time to draw a Masker Girl. Yeah, sideboard will have, you know, we'll be bringing in more Masker Girls. We'll be bringing in Plague Mares. We'll have some stuff. All right, a little too slow. <laughs> Just nothing's easy today. <laughs> We're getting stuck on lands. We're having all of our lands. They're not making it easy on us today. I do want this extra Chupacabra and this Golgari Queen. Uh, Got to kill Chandra Spitfire. Let me play some Duresses in this matchup. Three mana Chandra, Chandra Spitfire. These are cards I'm worried about. All right, Liliana can go. Um... Poison Departure is kind of nice tech against, like, three mana Chandra. Finality is pretty slow. I'm going to cut a couple finalities. That's that's going to be pretty slow, too, though. Um, maybe cut all of them. Yeah, we'll just have the Masker Girls instead here. Cause I don't think we really need the find part. And then, yeah, we'll trim a tender, tender, shoot, tender shoot. This gets us to 64. We'll, we got to just trim these things. Just have to trim our top end. All right, 61. And... Take out a branch walker. Yep, 
Yeah, maybe we should take out a land. Like after that. All right, reasonable. We can try this. Thing is, I want to look, I want to find removal, like Golgari Queen, removal for like Cavalcade of Calamity or for three mana Chandra or something. That's a good card. We'll just keep that one. That's a pretty good one. It's unfortunate that my opponent knows about it and can play around it. Just sacrifice a forest. Let's do I'm it. Good at what I do, and what I do is win. We'll still have four mana next turn. If I didn't have the land in hand, I wouldn't do that. Because you can tick up. Golgari Queen without actually sacrificing anything. Its loss will serve us. Very good. This is what the Chupacabras are for, taking out the Spitfires. I know we could minus Golgari Queen, but might as well just keep on ticking up Golgari Queen, make it hard for them to deal with. I'd rather Golgari Queen kill Cavalcades and three mana Chandra. Puppy dog is gone. An unfortunate. All right, cycle. Land War Elf. I don't. Yeah, I don't know if they're. I don't think they're. I don't know if they're playing all those cards. Chain Whirler, Frenzy, Four Mana Chandra. Don't usually see those cards too often in this kind of deck. You'll pay for that. So yeah, they have to make that attack to... Hmm... to keep my Golgari Queen from ultimating. Its loss will serve us. We'll turn a land into a scry land. And they just have one card. Okay.
Anything we want to change there? That seemed to work pretty well. Let's give another go. I think we should go to five because like waiting to turn five and then playing a massacre girl is probably not going to beat our opponent right but, like we are on the draw like maybe we just draw our spells like that's that's certainly a thing that could happen we could just draw spells to fill out the curve here or is it better just to go to five so, you know, like by turn two we'll have two draws to see yeah we have three looks at an explore creature to not get run over and then four looks at like you know like a Golgari queen or a chupacabra mm, I know five five is so painful y'all are kind of split some some people mull some people keep I'm also like not I'm not sure if I should actually just get rid of the tender shoot dryad there though. Yeah, we're definitely relying on our draw steps helping us. We're not turn five massacre girl is not gonna win. Well, it's turning into a respectable start. It acts a whole lot better when they have this cavalcade card. Yeah, either way, like, either way, we, we either keep or don't keep, and, you know, we lose, and we can say that we should have done the other. That one's just so close. Um... I'm not gonna have time to cast this duress. I'm gonna Chupacabra next turn, and then Mask of Girl, and then Tender Shoot Dryad. Yeah, it's either keep keep all lands or keep or keep like no cards. I was thinking that, like, if the chew blocks, like, the firebrand could still just sacrifice and kill me. I guess the spitter did attack for one more damage. We'll see if that one, one damage costs us here. anymore. 
Mm, I'm just dead. Yeah, like I can't, I can't do anything because you know this shows as a one three, but it's really a four three because whenever they attack, this this grows. So it's really attacking as a four three. And nothing here stops that. All right, Owen won. That would have definitely been a matchup for Wild Growth Walker. <laughs> we had a we had an okay curve. It was respectable, but just not interaction for Cavalcade. That enchantment is a card I don't have too much removal for, admittedly. Yeah, we had a really big host from Dog earlier. The biggest host I've ever had in my life. Yeah, that's the true that's true. Wild Growth would just get the lightning striked. Yeah. So we're thinking we're putting a, putting back Liliana here, probably. I mean, it's just, you know, the six-mana card. And it's not reliable that we get there. Okay. Get that land. Very good. All right, our deck's doing something. Against Water Grave, I wish I had a Liliana instead of one of these Chupacabras. First Chupacabra pretty good here, though. Get rid of that thing. Alright, we're doing stuff. Maybe they have another creature, and then I'll feel even better about having the second Chup. Want to keep on trying to reduce their life total, get this Poison Tip Archer out there to help against a potential Kaya's Wrath. Yeah, that's true. The power, this game really is showcasing Land of War Elf. All right, I'm hoping no Kaya's Wrath. I'm going for it. We're going for it. Not every Esper hero list plays main deck sweepers. Okay, okay. Sure. Let's draw another card. That's a good one. Let's do this first so we, we do the explore thing so we can see what's on top of our library. I do want that. As long as we win, nothing else matters. Um, decline. I was planning on sacrificing a land, but I guess if I do sacrifice a land here, and then they kill my land war elf, I won't be able to play the dryad. I 
Removal for the J light. They are just, just staying alive. Just staying alive. Its pain is our gain. Playing the Tender Shoot Dryad allows us to sacrifice the elf. Okay, we got a game. Very, very good. Let's get the Midnight Reaper in here. Maybe some Duresses, some Dread Horde, and an extra Golgari Queen. I'm not sure about the Duresses, honestly. I'm not sure if we really want those. I don't want. Don't want Masker Girl. Yeah, losing streak over. Yeah, Coop Cram, I have separate, they're separate audio tracks. Um, you know, like there's one track that has all the audio that goes to the stream and then the other track that I record with does not include the music for the YouTube channel. Nope, no limit how many cards you can have on the battlefield at once. Let's go two troops, one find, I could trim like Paradise Druid. No, my curve is so high. I'm gonna just not play Duress. Yeah, I'm gonna just not play Duress. Yep, the deck's called Poison because of the Poison Tip Archer here. Yep, there's the link right there. Hey, what's up, Bicep Sun? Daylight Ranger is awesome. This is some good green magic going on over here. Good green magic. All right, so Land of World surviving. I'm definitely going Jade Light next turn and looking for land drops. Looking for more land drops. Wow, what a perfect Jade Light Ranger. That was absolutely perfect. The Divination Jade Light. Why'd they shock in here? Like disfigure? So they want to disfigure, we saw disfigure last game. So they want me to attack with Jade Light, they disfigure Lanor Elf and then their 1-1 blocks the Jade Light. That's what they want to happen. I'm going to play the Paradise Druid, though. Get us closer to the six mana here. I mean, I guess having Jade Light Ranger die... Oh, no. Oh, they just shocked in for the white mana for the hero. That's, that's what they shocked in for. I don't... I think... Didn't they play Disfigure last game? Pretty sure they did. All 
All right, so maybe I could attack for two. I know, but didn't our opponent play Disfigure last game? I know that normally they don't because of Hero, but I'm pretty sure that was a removal spell they played last game. But yeah, okay, you're saying, oh yeah, just figure it wouldn't make a 1-1 a one, one, though. Yeah, that, that's a good call. It wouldn't do that. That's a good call. Um, <laughs> right, because it's not multicolored. Yeah, y'all were talking about the 1-1 one, one there. <clears throat> okay. So we're going to go ahead and... Get these two back. I didn't live through hell to lose to you. Well, if I'm keeping... Sometimes rest... <gasps> That's kind of the problem with... Yet. With the Explorer first, because I want to keep that Golgari Queen, so I guess I don't want to tick up the Vivian, so we'll just minus and kill that thing. And hope they don't kill my Vivian. You know, don't hope they don't just kill the Jade Light and then kill my Vivian. But at least we'll have a Golgari Queen up next. Yeah, that was kinda awkward timing there. I definitely wanted to be ticking up Vivian. Not bad for a mouse. Only that was pretty awkward. Good. <sighs> Pity we couldn't have been allies. Alright, heroes out of here. I probably should have just waited on the command the Dreadhorde. The thing about against Esper and like the Thought Erasure decks is I don't really like just sitting there and waiting on it, because then it there's a good chance they could just get discarded. So that's why normally I don't like just sitting there waiting on Command the Dreadhorde. I am not going to sit this one. Don't worry, I got this. <laughs> hey, no ceilings, welcome to the channel. Thank you there, 619. So my plan was to double block here and just trade my mana creatures for their 1-1s. That was my plan. Sinister Sabotage. Now what? Like they have to have a basic planes, right? With all these, these other basics in their deck. But they did keep their card on top this time pretty fast with that surveil. So I should probably just make them shuffle. And I guess we can check to see if they do have basic planes for sure. Now oh, they just have another white source anyway.
Maybe they only have the three basics, though. Maybe that was just a, a land destruction. Field of Ruin. Are we out of land worlds yet? We are not. Oh, I scried one to the bottom, so we just shuffled it again. trade this is not the time to be drawing mana creatures <laughs> not the best time anyway it's, it's better than drawing lands though this is where we're gonna draw Vivian Reed wow nailed it I've seen things that would break someone. Vivian like finding Tender Shoot Dryad. That's what our deck's all about. We are ascending. We are ascending. Rude. <clears throat> well, we'll have to go get another dryad. They kill one, grab another. You can't stop nature. That's how it works. Can't stop the ascension. The ascension of the sapperlings. Now it's just all those basic lands over there. No one knows the wilds like more I sapperlings. Do. More sapperlings. All right, they got one draw step here. If they don't draw a sweeper, they die. If they do draw a sweeper, I'll ultimate Vivian and play a new Vivian. schedule <laughs> we need to move good job quickly. Roach good game Can't stop the ascension of the Sapperlings. Ultimate Vivian. You're not walking out of here. Look at how big these Sapperlings are. They're so big. All right, we picked up a win. We're doing it. <laughs> Fully grown trees. Just a bunch of palaco worms. Yeah, <laughs> saprolings as big as Draki Seth. <laughs> <Ugh. laughs> now I remember I got rid of my backyard tree. Y'all are good. Yeah, R means that we're playing the deck in ranked over here. We did not have a good ranked showing there with Demir Control earlier. I really like this Temple of Malady art. 
really good. More Esper? No, Grixis. Switching it up. Well, we're still going to walk around on some branches over here. Look for some more plants. Uh, yeah, just got the graveyard. Even though we could play that next turn, just not a very impactful card to be playing next turn. It's like, sure, we get to play Vivian instead of Golgari Queen the, next, the following turn, but you know, whatever. Attack. Boom. I kind of want to just keep the Branch Walker. Yeah, Branch Walker is good. It'll do something. I guess with Legion's End in the format, maybe I shouldn't. I know I'm, I'm not planning on playing it next turn, but it'll, it'll let me, like, double spell later. Oh, yeah, Vivian is really good. All right, got to get rid of this as Kanta. Jump. Playing against a lot of two mana enchantments. This is Golgari Queen eating up. Rude. Thundershoot Dryad. Where are you at? The wilds are my shield. Not there. Well, that was not a very good tick up for us because we put back, a, we put a Vivian down to the bottom. Uh, not which is again. not a card we want to be putting down to the bottom. They probably don't have basic islands. I'm gonna do this. And. Reshuffle my Vivian back somewhere else. I don't like having that Vivian down at the bottom of the library. So they do have Basic Island. Two basic islands. Ooh, that one's good. Probably going to be minus fouring that card. So I didn't want to play the Masker Girl. I, do I mean, I really I should have just attacked first, side. but now I can't really go attack. Because if I go to go to attackers, then they can just kill the Liliana with a Bedevil in response. But I really should just attack first. Well, yeah, it's fine. So we don't get to draw the cards. Um, because the Liliana was gone, but Ravager is out of there. They have so much Planeswalker removal. Will be your end. I have other schemes to attend. <laughs> you have no weakness that I cannot exploit. Not exactly where Masker Girl is going to shine here. This is a really good matchup for all our play crafters in our sideboard. Perish. That's what our play crafters are doing. Yeah, 
Have been foiled. Let your I'm just chilling with six cards over there. Crumble. Is my archer getting through? Wow, they really don't like tender shoot dryads over there. Flame sweeps. My schemes are never ending. When to play crafter better than like Angrass's rampage? When when uh you can like when the creatures matter, when you can find creatures with like a card like Vivian Vivian Reed. Um Whenever you can get back creatures with cards like Command the Dread Horde or, you know, Soren, Vengeful Bloodlord. Um, basically, whenever the creatures matter. Don't be surprised if we meet again. Witness a moat of my power. All right, that should do it. I'm gonna draw another card with Golgari Queen, but let's pack it in. I don't think we really have much of a chance from there. Let's get Reaper. This is a duress matchup, though. I like the last one. Get these Playcrafters. Dread Hordes. I don't know about if I want the extra Golgari Queen as much. Massacre Girl's out. This is just not a Poison Tip Archer kind of matchup, unfortunately. I think those have to go. They don't generate any kind of value on their own. Gonna get rid of one find. A choop. Maybe, maybe we'll get rid of all the choops since we have the playcrafters and the Vivians and stuff. Yeah, maybe we'll just get rid of the choops. And then a Paradise Druid. Or one of the Gol Golgari Queen. No, we'll go with the Druid. Okay. No, I don't really need the troops with having the play crafters. All right, take care, six one nine. All right, pretty okay looking hand. I guess we don't have anything really that special to ramp into with these druids. 
up, Monty? The Plankation theme this week is um, is a standard event where a lot of the most popular cards are banned, so you can only play. Uh, so there's like 20 cards that are banned, so you have to play something that's not those cards. Um, I don't remember what they called it, like standard something. A little surprised at that. To be honest. They didn't see what they didn't just like wait to see what happened with the Jade Light first before making that noxious grasp decision. Definitely hoping no cry of the carnarium. Okay, well, Ritual of Sit, well, we get to draw two cards. That's not a bad one. It's not a bad one either. Saw two islands from them last time. I think a swamp also. I don't think we saw a mountain. So that'll kind of hurt casting Chandra a little bit there. I kind of wish I didn't play the Paradise Druid and I just played the Golgari Queen first. Because then I would have liked to play the Playcrafter there and just make them discard one of those two cards. Now they have this extra card. It's a pain. The problem with getting the Playcrafter is then then they know to play to try to play around Playcrafter. So that's the problem with with grabbing the Playcrafter because then they think, okay, well, I have to play around it and not play the Chandra right now. Get out of my way! I'm burning up here. Standard shakeup. There you go. That's the name of this. Playcrafters have just been awesome, though. Um, 
Yeah, we'll go with this. <laughs> yeah, that could that could be a problem, King J. King J, you had the you had the the five color gates rotation proof deck, right? And if so, can you send me that on Discord again? Because I'm going to be playing that tomorrow. I think that was yours, right? Yeah, like maybe I do take out Land War Elf instead of Paradise Druid. Maybe I should. A 2 1 body is a whole lot better than a 1 1 body. Thanks, King J. All right, we're going to game three here. We got to win because if we get our second loss, we are eliminated. So we got to get this. Help us out here, Vraska. Wonder what those claw marks are on Vraska's face. Don't think she had those like when she was in Ixalan with the Ixalan story. I didn't really read the Ravnica story because that's the guilds of Ravnica, Vraska. The Golgari Queen. These claw marks on her face. Gotta do this before Thought Erasure or search for Ascanta. We'll take the Thought Erasure. Sustainful Stroke. It's a little rough. So is. The Ravager, but I guess there's no blue mana right now. Darn, there's blue mana. And we already know that Field of Ruining them isn't going to work. I would not mind that getting Disdainful Stroke. I would much rather that get countered than Vivian or Command the Dreadhorde. Tendershoe Dryad's not looking very strong here in the face of that Cry of the Carnarium, though. I kind of expect them to have a Bedevil. Not really expecting them to have another counter spell. Which I don't mind this getting Wild bedeviled. I like. People meet my newest friend. Cause you know, it goes to the graveyard, we'll bring it back with Command the Dread Horden. Let's do this again. It's such a quick minus. And now I get to just kill it with Jade Light here. Alright, well we definitely need to use Command the Dread Horde. Ooh. 
before it gets taken. I have reached my limit. So we're going to take three, seven, twelve. Go to six. I train every day. Let's no tear this, this place apart. Balance I'm comes. Missing. Okay. The Dreadhorde have been commanded. Commanded to take out Nicol Bolas. I remember when that happened in the story? The Dreadhorde were commanded to take out Nicol Bolas. Ooh, we got a Master Orb. Let's get this Apostle of Purifying Light. It's so satisfying watching that orb go in there. Okay, we're two and one. Winning record. Oh wait, I, I wrote one and two. I'm so used to writing losses today. Uh, <laughs> we're two and one. Okay. Alright, Temple of Milady needs to find a land. We need more real estate up in this hand. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I'm a winner. Forgot to put it over there in the win column. I put it in the wrong spot. I would, I mean, I'm keeping the forest because, like, we can't just, we can't just not keep the forest. We need to keep the land. Okay. You haven't been helping me out today very much, okay? But I would like to draw a swamp. I'd like to be able to, like, I want Chupacabra as the card I'd like to play next turn. This would be a nice time for a swamp. Ugh. Temple, you're killing me. Well, Kogari Queen can die here. The Tilt land. Oh no. Temple of Tilt. So tilting. <clears throat> oh right, I did have two black because it Paradise... Paradise Druid's black for Chupacabra. I could have just played Parrot Chupacabra. Man, I am not. Yeah, so Chupa would have been better. I'm telling y'all. I My mind, uh, after that really long stream and everything last night, yesterday, my mind is kind of fried today. So yeah, Chupa would have been better to play. I mean, I wanted to play Chupa. <laughs> Please, no land drop. I do not want to play. I do not want the frenzy here. No land drop. I guess if they don't have a land drop, they're probably killing me. No Wizard's Lightning either. Or Shock. No Shock or Wizard's Lightning. Or land. Yay! None of those. I guess that's just... I guess that's kind of as bad. Not quite as bad, though. All right, clear out the battlefield. That was a that land was a really good draw. Let's see. 
that's... I guess it's, it's tender shoot. Yeah, it's tender shoot time. So that if they do kill the 2-2, we still have the blocker. A lightning strike, though, I'm I'm a little surprised they, they didn't just start going at us. To be honest. A little surprised they didn't just, like, lightning strike us. No, I don't have any of that card in the deck. Yeah, I think my opponent probably has another Frenzy in hand right now. Necromancer has a nice ring to it. Draw new cards. They were a lousy servant anyway. <laughs> Your boldness is so cute. So, Golgari Queen, I think, is, like, my only... Oh, gosh, that's a good one, though. Yeah, we'll just keep that. Don't really need to play the temple. Yeah, we gotta be aggressive. The the dryad makes these these saplings turn into five fives. So like that that or Golgari Queen were like the things I was gonna be keeping. Not you. You can all attack. Oh, Poison Tip Archer! Wish I had you just a little bit ago. Waste not, want not. Oh, I already played a land. No, we don't get to play another Dryad. <laughs> Rise and shine. They have one turn to kill me from four. Can they do it? They are not. All right, so mono red. Give me this extra choop, this extra Golgari queen. I could play some plague mares. It's just an earlier creature, you know. And maybe just duress also. Just just trying to thin the curve. We're going to get rid of the Liliana. Get rid of one fine finality. Um, the I don't know if I really want the Massacre Girl. Like, Vivian does kill Frenzy. So does... Yeah, I guess Golgari Queen doesn't. Vivian does kill Frenzy. Which is nice. But I don't know if we want to play three. Poison Tip Archer dies to Lightning Strike as a four drop, which is... Pretty bad for us. Doesn't like trade with anything and just dies to lightning strike. All right, what's the last card going to be? I'm going to cut one of these five drops, either a tender shoot or another Vivian. 
And just a tender shoot. Oh no, those tender shoots actually end the game for us. Yeah, I mean, we could cut a druid since we're on the draw and it dies to Chain Whirler. Our curve's so high, though. All right, we'll 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 get rid of one. All right, we'll get rid of one. All right, good old explore stuff. What are the chances that they have another Chain Whirler if I just go like Paradise plus Land War Elf? Hmm. I'll just go Paradise. That's a good scry land, though, getting that land to the bottom that we don't want at all. That was a bad draw, so good scry. Good point, we need the green cat. Good call. Look at that. Our best draws. Green cat's already helping. They had Chain Ruler, they would have played it last turn. Obviously, they could just top deck Chain Ruler, but. I'm playing the land we're off here to chump block. Could just take the three, I guess. Because I guess that trades. Go down to seven. That <laughs> guy's like shaking his head, like, no, 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 don't go to seven. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to block. Another troop. For another tube. I'm the best fire starter there is. This is just going to be bad for you.
Okay, where's my chupacabras? Can we kill them before this Chandra fire artisan kills me? There's no problem. Fire can't solve. Probably not. Probably not. <clears throat> We're gonna have a game on the on the play though. Like I don't have any answers to the fire artisan, do I? I don't. That card, that card evades me. What's that smell? Oh, it's you burning. No, because Golgari Queen, Golgari Queen only kills things that cost three or less, and this thing costs four. So I don't have any answer for that. Yeah, I mean, I, maybe I should be playing Playcrafter. I mean. If they have like their crappy little creatures though, Playcrafter isn't so good. Yeah. And... Need a contempt. So yeah, I could I could double block it to try, but then if they just have a removal spell for Tender Shoot Dryad, they just wipe out my whole board. Because then if they kill the Tender Shoot Dryad, the other thing turns into a 1-1. One, one. And then the first strike damage goes to the Jade Light. I mean, well, just the three damage just kills both. The first strike just kills both of them anyway. So, because that's that's the thing about the double like double block, and they just use removal on tender shoot. All my stuff would have died. I don't I don't have a way to get this fire artisan off the battlefield though. I mean, I guess if we draw. Okay, yeah, no, they just had that. Or well, no, they just got that off the other thing. <clears throat> you cannot grab your own things with direfully daredevil. They can't grab um, lava coil. They just can't. You can't do that. See, as you, as you see there, like, the games can go long. I kind of want... Maybe I need more sw sweepers. Actually, let's get this other finality in here. And this other Vivian read. The game does go pretty long. Maybe the... Card advantage, Vivian Reed can help me out. Maybe just Liliana. That Liliana was pretty good, that game one. <laughs> yeah. This is a matchup we're not having Wild Growth Walker. Hurts. That is true. But... We can kind of outgrind. We can outgrind a lot of their stuff. Just four mana Chandra. That's gonna be one that we're gonna hopefully duress away, and not have them top deck. All right. Well, I just took out one Plague Mare for this Liliana, so we'll see if this would have been better as Plague Mare. We've already gotten a two for oh, two for zero, with opponent going down to five cards. 
So got like a three for one. This this already traded for two for two cards. So that's good. Good job, Liliana. I'll go Branch Walker Temple. Good temple. Oh, you think I'm going to let you light up the stage that easily? Hopefully no Chain Whirler. Just because that's a difficult card to block. That Jade Light Ranger card is pretty good. I don't know if y'all have seen that one before. It's pretty good, though. All right, got to find a land. Graveyard. Land. Go get him, Liliana. <laughs> My army will envelop you. This is looking good. Ooh, putrid, but effective. Mountain Mountain against Liliana Dreadhorde General. It's pretty rough. Seven is so much loyalty. It's so much loyalty. Not a bad card either. We get to Jade Light again. Oh no, our Jade Light was exiled, wasn't it? Boo. Yay, we get to Jade Light again. Death is All right, more troops. We want to kill chain whirlers? Got to kill chain whirlers. I will draw a card. Thank you. Trigger. Kill chain whirlers. We had just a great more. hand, and they mold a five. Our hand was very great. We are playing this tender shoe dryad though before we're leaving. No, it's on the stack. We need to ascend. All right, three and one. Golgari poison. You know, our, our poison to Barcher hasn't really done too much yet for us. But we haven't really played against other like creature decks where the board will stall and that kind of stuff. Uh, just like move your mouse around or something, Northern Plague. Oh, so yeah, because. Oh, okay, I got you. Both of our both of our chupacabras were revealed. One was revealed um, as a card I kept on top for explore. The other was revealed because it was a card I grabbed from Find Finality. 
So both of them were revealed. So that's why whenever we played one, the other was still revealed. Because they were both originally revealed. Vampires. This is the first time I played against vampires today. Forgot it was a deck. Oh, I guess, no, we did play it one time in that best of one that we did before. That's a pretty vicious looking conquistador. If I'd, if I'd be hanging out, see that conquistador walk past me, I'd be like, whoa. That conquistador is vicious. Rude. Mm. All right, we're going greedy. I've come to me. I'm gonna try waiting a turn before massacre girling. Let them play another creature or two. Because, you know, they have the Legion's Landing, so they want to play creatures. If you threaten Innistrad, I will take it personally. I, I don't really like them having that creature. Curse. Or that... Sorry, that's not a creature. That Planeswalker, though. Alright, well, I'm just gonna kill that thing. Balance comes. Stop with the Sorens. I drink only the finest. Bloodline flows through you. Hmm. Am I even going to kill this Conquistador anymore? I do have to worry about that Soren just like killing me. <clears throat> with the tick up ability. If we go to eight. Meet my newest friend. Really? Hmm. Yeah. Thinking chump. And that's actually a good double spell with Masker Girl. Its loss will serve us. So they're going to just let me ultimate Vivian? Yeah. Or no, they're... They... Yeah, because they have to attack Ogari Queen, right? No, they're just going at me. Okay. So Golgari Queen... Kills this thing. Well, ultimate Vivian. You should see the look on your face right now. <laughs> yeah, 
It's either Tender Shoot plus Land of War. Or I just Liliana and kill this thing so we don't... Well, let's just kill this thing so we don't go down any farther because of another Soren. Being able to kill us. The the only reason why I don't love playing that is because if they have Sanctum Seeker. Okay, I was thinking like if their last card was Sanctum Seeker, I would have liked to... Blood was my beginning, and it will be... Ugh. So, yeah, they did have the third Soren though. So they just have to draw a vampire. We have to try to kill them before they draw a vampire. Or at least kill Soren. Like, they have to brick this turn. They have to draw a fifth land. If they draw a vampire, I die. If they don't, we get to kill like Soren. Brick. Land. Just draw land. Perfect time for a fifth land. No. Ugh. Man. So, like, their last card was probably that Soren, And so they drew one drop to be able to, like, be able to play the Soren and activate. Like, that one drop was a great draw. And then they drew another Vampire. And that was pretty unlucky for us there. Because, like, with them making that attack, that kind of told me that they had another Soren in hand because we they didn't kill the Golgari Queen. You know, like, how they thought about killing Golgari Queen. All right, so get some Plague Mares in here. Another Golgari Queen to kill Soren. Another Choop. Some more Massacre Girls. <laughs> um, take out a Vivian Reed. I'm sorry, Poison Tip Archers. Just not the matchups for you. Hyper aggro, we just can't really play the four mana two three. Do you want I want to keep the other two Vivians. I want to keep that card advantage. I could see taking out Liliana, but Liliana's kind of nice. One Tender Shoot's going to go. We've got to take out one more card. I mean, I, I do like Finality in this matchup, but maybe we can't play, like, three Finalities and a Liliana. I'm going to just take out one Masker Girl. Yeah, I should have just had, like, four Wild Growth Walkers in the sideboard, at least, to bring in. But I Wild Growth Walker in this matchup still not even really that spectacular. Good job. Way to go, Evan. Went with Kali and friends for the playingcation event, going 6 1 in that. Good job. What is that? Closet door. And just little vibrations. The Playcrafter is doing pretty good. It's for, like, control decks. It was. So awesome against it was so awesome against uh oh man, that would have been a good card to have against Grixis earlier. We got to take out a bunch of planeswalkers with it. So, yeah, of course, I didn't, you know, we didn't have the Plague Mare at the time of blocking. My opponent's probably like, why'd you block? We don't have room for more. You know, don't, don't have Doom Whisper. We don't really have room for more five drops in here. You won't see the end coming. I will. Don't be surprised if we meet again. Why are these one twos? Pick to fight with an 
ancient vampire lord. Stupid one twos. Our they put it on the summoning sick one. It's not often I'm outmaneuvered. Don't be surprised I if we meet again. Obligations. One twos are bad for Masker Girl as well. Oh, I grow bored with this fight. Come to me. Rah, 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 rah. All right, well, there are no lands there, assuming that we're going to draw a land here now. Because that was just five non-lands in a row, so this the sixth one's probably a land. Okay, so you've got claws. See? Nailed it. So we don't you need to take a land nature. with this. We can take more chupacabras. Um, and actually, we don't really even need to finality. And maybe just, like, rebuy chupacabras that die. Chupacabra does a good job blocking for us. All right. So yeah, Masker Girl didn't look spectacular. So glad we took out one of those for our last card to take out. And here we go. Oh, you're welcome, Chaff. Yeah, talking through decisions. I don't all the time. There's there's definitely times that I wish I was talking more. You know, like sometimes I'll check like the, the YouTube VODs and stuff, the YouTube videos. It's it's just kinda hard to talk for seven hours straight all the time. But yeah, there's there's definitely times that I was like that I'm thinking that yeah, you know, I wish I was talking more. It's too much dead air. Hey, thank you so much there, Women's Fitness. I appreciate that continued sub there. <laughs> but the music helps fill in the downtimes. Of course, on YouTube, there is no music, though. But on YouTube, you can watch at, like, one and a half speed. I know a lot of people like doing that. Just, like, the games just go faster, the decisions go faster and everything. But then you can also play your own music, though, on the YouTube channel. Hopefully we draw another Black Source. You know, maybe shock in with the Land War Elf here for us to be able to have turn two Plague Mare. I think our opponent was like down to, I mean, they were definitely mold to five, maybe mold to four. But I guess they didn't have anything that was a respectable hand. All right, Golgari Poison is on to the final boss. We have not picked up our second loss. Let's see if we can get that fifth win. We're going with our final boss playlist here. Here we go. Oh, thanks, Northern Plague. Final boss time. Bow, 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 bow. What's going to be our final boss? We just played Mono Red and Vampires. Grixis right before that. We're going to have some combo. Could be Vampires again. It's a good looking hand. Could be Scape Shift. We haven't played Scape Shift yet. <laughs> yeah, it's hard. It's hard to figure out what deck to craft. I have to play 
You know, whatever. Whatever you like, you know? That's what, that's what magic is. All right, it is vamps again. Caesar, you called it. Vamps again. Sorry, Poison Tip Archer. be pressuring them make it it's harder to pay for life to keep a Danto Vanguard alive whenever you don't have life Ugh. the tender shoot dryad should give us a good amount of chump blockers here And then our Vivian gives us the card advantage. Could look for like a Poison Tip Archer. Much more reliable. The wilds are my shield. Don't really want a shock to play Land Warolf, I don't think. We'll just play this temple. Yeah. These Tender Shoot Dryads have been awesome for us. Our Golgari Poison deck is turned into Golgari Dryad. My opponent's like, but I can attack with a Danto Vanguard infinitely. How how is this not working out? We got infinite chump blockers. So what did we do last time? We brought in two of these, one of these, one of these, one of these, and then we cut one of those. One, one, three. Maybe maybe we didn't actually cut a tender shoot dryad. Yeah, that looks right. All right, we're up a game on the final boss here. We are up a game. Another pretty decent hand. Could get really slow if the land war elf dies though. Suddenly, really slow now. Sinkhole, legal and standard. Come on, Jade Light. Jade Light. Darn. Yeah, the, the vampire is one that's a, it's a donation deck that's a little, a little different from normal. It's got like four bloodthirsty aerialist. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, there we go. Play some more one toughness stuff. Get a good 2 1 out there. Play it in Danto Vanguard. Yeah, I was considering just playing Golgari Queen and killing the Knight of the Evan Legion. Final boss defeated. We did it. Here we go. Oh, a mythic that we haven't earned yet. But I don't have. A finale of devastation. What a great league. There's not lots of cards that I need left, but Mythics are where where I'm short. I have all the rares. The Mythics, I still need some. So yeah, great league. We got a Finale Devastation. I'm sure I'll use that at some point. Y'all know me, I use and try to play like all the cards. No, So yeah, we did want to attack with the Chupacabra there because they had the activation up for their Knight of the Ebon Legion. They could have turned their Knight of the Ebon Legion into a 3-4. So that's why we that's why I didn't attack with a Chupacabra there that last turn. So there we go. There's Golgari Poison. We beat Vampires twice, Mono Red, Grixis Control, and some other deck. And we lost to something else. I know those were a while ago. Um, the no, the knight could only turn into a three four because it had minus one minus one from the Plague Mare, but still that's bigger than the two two Chupacabra. Um, but yeah, pretty sweet. Like the tender shoot dryads were awesome. Vivian Reed was incredible. Yeah, so dry yeah, tender shoot and Vivian Reed were both awesome. Unfortunately, the poison tip archer never got to do anything with it. Unfortunately, we were playing against a lot of those. You know, like when you're playing against hyper aggro, it's too slow. When you're playing against control, um, it's not very good either because it doesn't get any card advantage. So. We didn't really play against matchups for it. The the matchups for it would be like other green green decks that are just kind of doing the same like you know like more like explore type stuff and like they get a whole bunch of creatures, we get a whole bunch of creatures, then boom, poison tip archers, awesome. Um but those are not the matchups that we were playing there. So had to board those out quite a bit. But yeah, our our sideboard plans worked. Play crafters were good, plague mares were good, chubacabra was just incredible. Chubacabra was one of our best cards. For sure, Golgari Queen was amazing. Oh, you know, killing Sorens with Golgari Queen. We kept on doing that over and over. That's how we were beating the Vampire decks, for sure. Um, yeah, everything worked out pretty good. The creatures were good. Explore stuff was awesome. Branch Walker, Jade Light. Didn't even need the Wild Growth Walkers. But, yeah, that's that's like our, our combos. Like Poison Tip, Massacre Girl, or Poison Tip with Finality. Like the finality, like if we have like a bunch of, you know, uh, those things out, that's our other combo there. But all right, that's Golgari Poison. So if you're watching this video later on YouTube, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. But thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.